This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, which is Animation and Games, Lesson 15, Velocity, Part 10. Multiple controls. As you saw in the last level, you can change the sprite's velocity with multiple if statements. In this program, the fish has three different types of movement, each of which should be controlled by its own if statement. Woo, fancy. Look at the three if statements inside the draw loop. Use sprite.velocityx, sprite so it's velocityx property, block inside of each if statement to make the following three movements. If the user presses the right arrow key, move the fish right, that would make sense. If the user, if the fish gets to the right hand side of the screen, move the fish to the left, oh, just like they did back here. If the fish gets to the left hand of the screen, stop the fish. Oh, on the left, we're going to stop it though. Okay. So, quick reminders, here's our variable fish, here's where we set animation, let's see what the code does. We have an unmoving fish. Alrighty, and then is there a single, oh, and we have fish L for fish left facing, I think, fish R for fish right facing. So let's read the comments, remember comments aren't read by programs, they're just for humans, so they're usually helpful. Uh, so up here is our variable, we set it to be right at first, so I bet we're moving right at first. Um, background blue. Did we set the velocity? Block inside each if statement to make the following three. Oh, we're only going to move right. Okay. So if it reaches the left side, the fish stops. If, and what our fish, what our if statement here is checking, the condition, it checks the condition, if fish x. So if it's x property is less than zero. Let's look at our grid. If it's less than zero, our fish's nose is beyond here. And if it's less than zero, what would we want to do? Well, we set the animation to face right, but I bet then we want to set our velocity. What would we want to set it to? Okay, if it's less than zero, we're going to make the fish face right. How can we move right? If I start moving my mouse right, notice X increases. So we would want X to be positive. So I'm going to move right at two. Okay, if I wanted to move left, I would need a negative for X. And then we have nothing called sprite. We only have a variable called fish. So make sure to change that. Okay. So if, if it's less than zero. Wait a minute though. If your fish gets to the left-hand side of the screen, this is the left-hand side. Ah. So if it, nope, I don't want this here. Uh, I'm getting rid of that. I need my fish to stop. So we're going to turn it and then, oh, maybe I do. Fish velocity equals zero. That would mean stopping to me. And fish. Okay. Now, if key down right. So if we're holding right, what do we want to happen? It said to move right. So this is where we're going to drop velocity x. Make sure it's in the if statement. Because you only want this to happen if we're holding the key down. Right? So if we press this key down, if we press right down, then the computer says if, oh yeah, that's true. And it runs the code inside of it and only if we do that. So now I'm going to set it to two. We have nothing called sprite. We have a variable called fish. And then finally, if the fish reaches the right edge, the fish swims left. Okay, so if fish's property x is greater than 400, greater than 400, x 400 is over here, so that would mean it's beyond this. We want the fish to swim to the left. So we're going to change the x property. How do we make it swim to the left? They already set the animation to face left. X decreases, like we said earlier. So I'm going to do a negative 2. I need to change this from sprite, since we have nothing called sprite. We have a fish variable, and set this property. And then it's going to draw the sprite. The function then repeats. It blues out the background 30 times a second, checks all of these variables again. And keep in mind, if it hits, if fish x is less than 0, maybe our fish is here. It's not less than 0. So our code just drops below this. It skips that and keeps looking at these ifs. It only runs it if it's true. All right, let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. So my fish is not moving. If I press this key once, it should move right. I pressed right. Boom. And it flips around just like we hoped. Now the test is if our fish will stop. Turn. Ooh. That was not what I was hoping. Fish disappeared. Um, so, 
If the fish gets to the left hand side of the screen, stop the fish. Why would it disappear? Y velocity is zero. That's not what we want. Definitely want X. We want it to stop moving X. We all of a sudden changed Y. Let's try it now. Ta-da! Fish is frozen. Awesome. So here is this code that was working for me. Great, moving on.